Hello everyone, welcome to Veracity Solutions. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to add comments from Cognize Report to database. First open SQL Server and create a table called comment underscore practice with the columns product ID, user, comments and entry date. Then we will create a stored procedure for performing insertion and updations of comments. Now we go to Framework Manager. Create a project with the data source as great outdoor sales. Select product, product name lookup and order details tables. Then we right click on the data source again and click on run metadata wizard, select metadata source, which for us will be go sales as it contains our comment table and stored procedure, expand bow, select comment table and stored procedure. Uncheck the granularity that is, fact detention enabled, click on import. Now go to the comment underscore practice table, and change the usage for product ID, from fact to identifier. Next, we will create a relationship, between product number and product ID, from the tables product and comment underscore practice. We want product ID to return product number in the comment table, so for each product number, we will want a product ID so we will create a one-to-one -one relationship among the two. Double-click the insert comment stored procedure, create a parameter for all the columns in the stored procedure, click on OK, and change the product ID usage again for the stored procedure to attribute. In order to not get product ID multiple times for different languages, we will add a filter to the product underscore language from product underscore name underscore lookup. Click on filters, add, select and drag product underscore language and add equals en in the filter. Click on OK. Now right click on package, create, package I'm giving the name demo underscore for underscore comment and then publish the package. Now we get to our Cognos Analytics Report Studio. Here we have our package and we right click our package and create a report. For this task, we will be needing two reports. Let's start with the first report. Select a blank page and create. Now we add all the items we need in the query page. We drag a query and select the columns needed. Quantity, product number, product name, and from comment underscore practice table, we add all the columns to the query and create two query calculations, modified by and modified date. Now we create a list using the same first query on the page and drag product number, product name, user, comments, entry date, to the list. Now we save the report as main report. And now create our second report. In this report we create a list, with columns, product ID, and comments. Which we drag from the insert comments stored procedure. Now we go to the prompt page, and drag a text box prompt and select the use existing parameter and select the comment parameter from the drop down. Save the report as report to drill. Now we get back to our first report. Drag a text item to the right of entry date as a new column, change the column heading to comment and type insert comment in the text box and now select the insert comment cell and select the drill through definitions. Drill through definition dialog box appears, click on new, in the report select our report to drill, and select the open in new window. Click on the edit option for the parameters, change the method for entry date, user, and product ID to pass data item value. Select the values, for product ID select product number, for entry date select modified date, and for user select modified by. Click on OK. Now save the report and run it. Now, the comments are already displayed here for the products, so we will try to replace the already existing comments by typing the new comment. We write a comment for product 3110 as inserting comment for 3110, click on finish and refresh the previous output page. 
the new comment will be displayed in place of the previous one, for the product ID 3110. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching the video. For any future information, connect with us on www.verisitis.com.